some screens and the new company is www.blackseriesedition.com um, we were going to do some projector mapping but I had to do a massive software update which I'm doing right now on the computer right now as that's going through and I thought we'd come in here and do some demonstrations on our technology's advanced ambulance projection this is the uh, black technology game now this right here you're seeing is a screen we painted up I think a few days ago this is a black series technology uh, advanced ambient projection 48 black series limited edition black this is when we have a certain amount in the shopping cart this is the limited edition product and as you can see sitting right next to a window we're not having any issues no color wash out nothing like that whatsoever you know we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff because our screens are designed to absorb light where you're using a white or gray screen, mostly if you're using white screens, uh, the color is just going to completely wash out because that's usually what happens when I talk to customers that are using white screens. They just can't seem to maintain any color or contrast whatsoever. And as you can see with our technology, we're able to produce an image right next to a fully lit environment without the screen washing out, without using expensive projectors or projectors that require high amount of contrast capabilities in order to be able to produce a somewhat decent shade of gray. All right, so we're just gonna let this play for a little bit. I went ahead and I went ahead a whole bunch of different displays on there. What displays the same thing over and over again? Oh, it does. See, that's we have one here. And you can see how bright the images come up. The uh, Black Series produces an amazing white level. Uh, Black Series editions, they produce an amazing white level. And that's one of the beautiful things about this technology. It actually was able to accept all 100% of the Heitner technology. We used this on other screen paints before. One of the problems we've had was this other screen paints uh, weren't able to use the 100% of that technology. They would basically just cast off too much light well, this one's designed to capture light. And as you can see, the screens can see a 100% contrast level. This is something that you will not see gray and white screens, not even gunmetal screens, try to attempt. Uh, due to the fact that the screens cannot maintain a 100% contrast level and again next to a window and lighting the environment would completely wash out. Outer Space Screen Savers, YouTube. Getting up from YouTube. Here's my personal pop-up on here I like to play. And we have the...
4K demonstrations, YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. Take care of some business downstairs. Enjoy. And I'll be back. Simple and plain. All right? Certified. Gray paint. We get this all the time. And people think that this is actually going to work. Let me explain to you. No, it is not. Slow color change out. YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. What's the problem? Could be that I guess my own insurance charge is haunting me. This is my show. All we do is say it's fine. She haunts me.
Now, I've said this many times before, gray screens and certified screens next to our technology cannot pick up the same color as ours. But the certified screen is going to pick up a much better image than the gray screen. Because it's a gunmetal technology. I don't know where anyone got the idea at the end of the day that a gray screen paint product is going to compare to gunmetal technology. I've tested all kinds of gunmetal technology, including diamond, and it is extremely good. There is no way in the world a gray screen paint product would ever come close to gunmetal technology. Not even some of the darker mixes we've seen couldn't even compete with that technology at the end of the day because a darker mix, again, is plagued because it has black paint in it. It doesn't have the ability to pull proper color or contrast, and the white levels are absolutely horrible. Now, that's Network Gray 773. And for people who boast and brag that their products pull a contrast level equal to a black screen, you can't even get close to a gunmetal technology. And the reason why we talk about this is because nobody else makes these claims where we have no, 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 all the different screen paint products I've seen so far I have not seen one of them saying that they pull contrast levels equal to a black screen. Only one person says that one at the end of the day. That is a certified gunmetal technology sitting next to Network Gray. And for anyone who sits there and say, oh, it's not, don't say that. Don't even think about it. Don't you dare ever think about it by saying that, oh, it's not the same thing. We're not going to go down that road. We're not even going to explain to you. You go to the blacklist, you can figure it out for yourself. They're the same thing. As I said before, there's no point in me going buying something when I can just go down to an everyday paint store, pick that up, and do the exact same thing. No difference. So and we have people who come into a forum saying, but it's not the, it's not the what were you going to say? You're going to say they weren't the same thing? Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. So that network grade represents a lot of stuff at the end of the day. So as you can see how washed out it is, how it doesn't pick up at all, period, whatsoever. And look at the gunmetal technology sitting next to it. Wherever you had made the accusation that a product of that complexion will compete with a $3,000 to $5,000 gunmetal technology, you don't know what you're talking about. This is why they can't go to form sites, which form sites would laugh them out of the room. So you mean to tell me that gray screen paint over there is going to compete with a $3,000 Dark Star 9, a diamond, or any one of those screens that produce those heavy contrast levels, it's going to do the same thing. No, that's not going to happen. Exactly what planet do you live on at the end of the day? That is virtually impossible. They have a screen somewhere in the same complexion of that one called a Cinema Gray. Cinema Gray is the cheapest screen they have besides the white screen that they have in their collection on their lead screens. The most expensive screen they have is the Dark Star 9. That is the most advanced screen that they have. So, no, not going to happen. Not in a million years, not going to happen. Because you were told that that gray product would produce next to a gun. No, you weren't told correctly. I've seen that demonstration. In that demonstration, there were no contrast levels at all. And that technology right there is designed to pull a contrast level. It's a gunmetal technology. It would have been able to pull a contrast level easy, not a black 100%, but it definitely would have been able to pull that contrast level. So this is why I tell you that you're not being told the truth when you're basically watching a lot of these demonstrations.
Now, if that screen paint could pour 100% contrast level, what's it doing in the dark? Gunmetal screens, well, they are ambient light controlled environment, but black technology, don't, they don't sit in the dark. They don't have to. These screens can generate and pour the environments. So why are they sitting in the dark? Why are they calibrating projectors? Black technology does not require to be calibrated. So, what's, what, what's the problem with that? So, there are things that's what I find interesting that when people make these statements about how their screen paint does such and so and so, but yet they should never be in a dark environment if you can pull up next to a black screen, especially, and you definitely shouldn't be calibrating a projector. But you see with the Dark Star 9, pull is a better color than a gray screen. We pull a better color than a Dark Star 9. Let's go with red screen YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. Basic color red. We can get one here without a commercial. Usually when it loads up like that, it means we have a commercial coming behind that one. Now you see that. So all that stuff you were told on camera that a gray screen can do this, that, no they cannot. Are you kidding me? We used to make this stuff years ago. We know what it can do. Can't see contrast or color. And it definitely doesn't fit in the category of gunmetal technology. You can't compete with it. That's why when you see demonstrations, you will always see that in a dark environment, a very dark environment. This can actually maintain an environment much better than this game. And this is the reason why you're told to calibrate, because you see your colors aren't coming up correctly. So when we see people come into form sites with this color gray screen, and they're in there talking about, we're sitting there like, you don't know anything at all. You're noobs. You know nothing. So that technology you're showing me right there, that screen paint you're showing me you can take out a black diamond, DMP, so any one of these dark technology, you can take that out, Dragonfly, if you take them out, you can produce better contrast and color than a gunmetal screen, show me. And they can. And I said the demonstration I saw on against that product right there, I saw that demonstration in a dark environment, number one. Because of course they can't put it in a fully lit environment. That has better ambient light rejection than that. Doesn't even have ambient light rejection embedded into it at all, period. There's none in there. Why do you think on the website it says not ambient? It can't be because it doesn't have the capability to be. Blue screen, YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. Told you the whole story behind the technology, the fall of the gray screen paints next to gunmetal technology when they first came up. And the gunmetal technology, the whole purpose behind the gray screen, the whole purpose of it wasn't for white levels, it wasn't developed for that. It's going against a white screen. How are you going to be to develop a screen designed to go against white levels when it was going against a white screen? So for naysayers, I'm going to educate you today, since you don't know. And I've been around longer than you have, so I'm explaining to you how it really started. The stories that you're telling are complete lies. You're telling people that you're pulling up 100% contrast levels and using projectors for smoke and mirrors and dark environments. We're not in a dark environment. We're not using a high-end calibrated projector, none of that nonsense at all, period. So the white screen was the dominant screen at one point because the gray screen didn't exist, neither did the gunmetal. I have to get myself a white surface in here. Let me have one right here. So that became the number one screen because it was the only screen. It was white. There was no off-white or none of that nonsense. It was just simply a white screen. Some of y'all remember one of your parents would come over and they would set up a nice slideshow. One of your neighbors went to Disney World or someplace like Wildwood. Well, you had that screen with that 1.1 aspect ratio that you would pull up out of this stand that you would have in the closet somewhere 
or you would have the reel-to-reel 35 millimeter. That's what you would have. Now, later on, people didn't want to be trapped in dark rooms. I mean, you had to literally be in a really super dark room in order to run the white screen. I mean, super dark. So, I mean, not seeing Jack, the dark room. They would close up the blinds, black everything out just for the white screen because if any light was in there, it would wash out and it would look pretty bad. So that particular time was an acceptable good picture. You know, you're in the dark, you know, that's how it was set up. And later on, then when people started developing, and we don't know who started the gray screen paint products, nobody knows, but someone started it. People wanted better contrast and color from the gray mix. It was never meant for white levels. So if that was the case, a white screen could beat it any day of the week. And the biggest argument was, before Gunmetal showed it up in the picture, the biggest argument between these two was the fact that the white screen could maintain a higher white level, much more beautiful, vivid images, and this product came out dark and dirty, and it was something you didn't want to deal with. You wanted to go with the old traditional products. But with this, you could basically pull slightly better, higher color, and a slightly better contrast level, not black, shades of gray. That's what you could pull up. That was it. So this became the dominant screen over the white screen, and everybody was painting the white screens into this screen right here. So that became the dominant screen because it wasn't based on white levels, gentlemen. It was based on color, contrast, and to be able to pull up in an ambient light controlled environment where that one couldn't show up in an ambient light environment because it was too much light for it. And then later on, you had that nightmare pop up, which is gunmetal technology, the black diamond, because we don't have it here, but the black diamond, I think, were the first ones to pop up. And that technology, on the other hand, was darker and can produce better contrast, can produce better color, and it can maintain its white levels because it had a reflective surface attached to it, which also two plates of screen and narrow viewing combs and ultra short through projectors and fully lit environments. It does have some issues from time to time. But other than that, it is much better than the gray screen and the white screen with no problem whatsoever, which means around that time, Mr. Bird was making that product right there. And he saw this product here and he realized that this product was better than that product. And he had to make a choice. I can continue on this road or I can switch over to this technology, which I did. And this is why Mr. Bird now has the dominant screen, which is the black screen that pulls the contrast levels at 100 percent, can basically maintain in fully lit environments that not require high end projectors, calibrated projectors, work with ultra short though projectors, low lumen projectors, and can be used outside even at a mass of 250 inch screen. And at that, at 18 feet back at 4000 lumens, it generates so much white light that it reflects off the grass. Got the demonstrations to back it up on just about every level you can possibly think of, gentlemen. As a matter of fact, we have so many test demonstrations. We have on the website pages dedicated just for test. And it costs less than that screen, which costs $3,000. Hmm, isn't that interesting? So this black series sitting behind that screen costs our customers $473. That costs $3,000. Ultra short though compatible, not ultra short though compatible, no calibrated need to get to calibrate your projectors for this one at the end of the day. And this one is 100 inches at three grand, where this one is, does a screen size over 150 inches at $473. One coat application, turn anything you want to a over high performance certified screen with no problem that's fully ultra short though compatible at the end of the day. But if I had stayed in this section, and I didn't explore that technology to become this technology, that would be the dominant. And this wouldn't even exist, which means you would only have very few options. And order, if you want those particular technologies right there, you would have to have deep pockets in order to afford that. But because of our technology, you don't even have to have deep pockets to afford that. That technology is easy to get now. You can have it far more better. But you naysayers are stuck here. So convinced that this product is the dominant product when it's not. Because before you reach us, you have to go through that technology first. And that is gunmetal land at the end of the day. And you can't survive in gunmetal land. 
Not even your gray screen paints can take that screen on. This is the story of projection screen technology. There you go. And the reason why I can talk about this, gentlemen, because if you check my YouTube channel, I go way back. I go way back in the beginning when, not when some of it was starting, because I was five years late in, but I go back a lot farther than you guys do. So I can go back to basically my developments under great technology, gunmetal technology under D5, D5 and D6K, and I can talk about the black technology, which is under digital 4K crystal onyx. And I'm like you guys, companies recognize who I am. We got NDAs from Seymour. We had uh, letters from Dark I'm not sorry, Dark Star, from uh, Black Diamond. Where is your proof of anybody acknowledging your existence? My technology is so much of a threat. I've even walk on a form site. They ban me right from the door because they know what I bring to the front door. Some do accept us. Some basically don't want us in there. You're not a threat at the end of the day. Because you know why? Because that technology right there can wipe you clean. And you want to jump over this and head into our backyard, which is no contest. We can take you out easily. If I can knock out a certified screen, you would be nothing at the end of the day. Where would the threat be at? So before you start trying to jump on our technology, you need to pass those first. Because those are what's responsible the reason why that people have those deep pockets, and there's quite a lot of them, because again, when people sit there and say, well, who's gonna spend 5,000? Somebody's gotta be doing it, because if it didn't, the company wouldn't exist. I mean, half a million dollars, almost near a million dollars for a Bugatti. You go into a store and you go, who the frick is paying? Somebody's paying for it, because if they weren't, the company wouldn't be there. Starfield screensaver. Oh, we got a good YouTube thing. YouTube star deal screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. So you gentlemen don't understand what it's all about. That's the problem. That's why you're laughable. That's why people laugh at you when you go to forum sites. You're laughed at because you don't understand what it's all about. The great technology was never developed for the whiter level. If that's the case, silver would be the dominant one in that because silver actually pulls up a higher white level than a gray screen. It does reflects more light and just has that ability. So that would be the screen that would actually would pull the highest amount of white levels if you are talking about white levels. The whole purpose or the reason why the gray screen was made is to make a better product than the white screen. That's what it was designed for. And it was made a little darker so that way it can pick up a better contrast and better white level. I'm sorry, better color. But now you have gunmetal technology, which is much darker, and the whole purpose of that technology was to pick up better contrast levels and better color. That's the whole purpose of it all. And this is why our technology is the dominant now. Because we can produce a contrast level way higher than a certified screen. Your gray products don't even match us in any way whatsoever, and a gray screen doesn't even exist in our world. And we can do all this next to a window with no problem whatsoever. Not wash out, not fade, nothing. We don't require expensive projectors to make the screen look decent, because they need that. In the day, they need those favorite pair of shoes to make that screen look somewhat decent. They need that dark environment. You can be sitting there with a window open next to a gray and white screen. That's not going to work. Certified screens to a certain degree, to a certain degree, but they still can't maintain where we're at. Now, I know you fellows who make these great products, you want to sit there and say, well, what about the white levels? You're bragging and boasting about your white levels. You can't be the silver screen and white levels. You can't be the white screen and white levels. You're in the land of limbo. You know what the land of limbo is? You don't have the ability to produce a white level equal to the white screen, so you're not, you don't sit in that category. And you can't produce a contrast level 
better than the gunmetal or black technology, so you're not in there. So where do you stand at? You can't beat gunmetal's colors, you can't beat gunmetal's contrast levels. And when it comes to a black screen, you don't even sit in that category either. So where do you sit at? You're in the land of limbo. You're what you call a an advanced version of a white screen. That's what you are. So all of those people who brag about those products, you have an advanced version of a white screen. That's what you have. That's why you sit in the dark. That's why you calibrate projectors. That's why you don't do demonstrations like this one right here. I could literally make this a challenge. It would never be met. YouTube, 8K Desire Nature. Now, I do this because to educate the naysayers because they need it ever so badly. And for people that are going out and buying a projection screen for the first time, do not believe the lie of a gray screen. Because a gray screen, not saying all of them, but certain ones you have to be careful about. They will lie to you that screen can pull 100% contrast level, that it can produce images in fully lit environments. And it can't do any of that at all, period. It doesn't have the capability to do so. If you look at the Digital One 2.0, it looks nothing like anything we've ever developed in the past. All the screen paints we developed in the past were that color. There's no way in the world we could bring anything back in this time to perform like this technology. It would have all kinds of problems. Even we do that. And when you people say, who's we? Me and God when I mean we. It didn't have the capability, so we had to upgrade it. We had to make it a bit darker than other products and be able to show all those tests that that technology could do what it's designed to do. But there's no way in the world would ever be to survive that color. It's virtually impossible. <sighs> Ziploc is designed to store fresh dumplings. So you can unlock long distance traditions. Ziploc, unlock life. America's number one trusted food storage bag, SC Johnson. Now we all know at the end of the day, contrast is everything. When you buy a projector, it doesn't say two million to one white level, it says contrast level. Contrast is involved in gaming and movies and sports and TV. It's involved in everything. If contrast was an important OLED technology, it wouldn't even exist. You wouldn't have black cell phone screens at the end of the day. They still would be gray. Spread rumors that black technology is so dark you can't see it. I can understand why you had to travel down that road because you are afraid. Because your time is, is ending. It's ending quick. Due to the fact that that screen paint is obsolete. So you have no choice but to try to spread those nasty rumors. Now, other great products don't do that. Now, I, don't, I haven't seen any other great products doing stuff like that. Only you guys do that stuff at the end of the day. Now, if you feel that Mr. Bird is wrong, I would love to see you repeat this demonstration that I'm doing right now today. Put your screen right next to a window. I don't want to see any awnings or, I'm not going to check you. I'm not going to have time to check. I know you can't do it anyway. I'm just saying it because I'm not going to bother wasting my time to come in and check your, you. I don't have time for that. I'm a busy man. I'm just saying that everybody else can figure it out for themselves if you do it or not. I couldn't care less because I know you can't do it. For the countless times that I've given you guys a chance to back up your products, even just basically being the process a simple order and just without canceling, clearly shows me at the end of the day you can't back your products and it's a waste of time. But if you feel, and other people can check on it if they want, but I'm not, I'm busy, um, that you can do this demonstration I'm doing right now, then take your gray paint, paint it up on the wall, stick it next to a window and do the demonstration and show contrast only. And while you're at it, don't forget the network gray. 
Don't forget to slip silver. That's all. But this explaining them the story of it all, because somewhere along the line, they got it mixed up. For some reason, they started believing that, hey, look, you know, a gray screen can pull a contrast level equal to a, a black screen just because you're sitting in there with a projector with a two million to one in a dark environment, or any gray screen paint can do the exact same thing as we saw in the Network Gray 773 videos. It does the same thing, it's no difference. Showing a demonstration with a bunch of colors across the screen, any gray paint can do that. Any household paint will do that. What the household paint can't do is produce a contrast. So what you gentlemen are going to have to do is take those products and put them against multiple, ver oh, I forgot, we did those didn't we? They're on the website. But multiple versions of gray paint and show contrast levels. That's what you're going to have to do. To show that your product can produce a contrast level better than the other gray paints. Now, the reason why you have to do that is because you made these accusations. You can't make accusations on camera and expect for people to believe that without proof. You got to be the back that up. Now, that you all know the story of the screen paint products and now they call it the pecking order. You've heard of the pecking order among chickens to figure out which one is the boss, the top cheese, the big cheese. You know, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the pecking order. YouTube, black background, goldfish. So it just shows you, as I said before, that no, white screens definitely don't pull up all that well. They don't. White screens are absolutely horrible. They can't pull up any contrast. They can't pull up color. When it comes to the gray products, like I said, the ones we've actually heard make false claims, I've seen, I have nothing to do with the other ones because I don't know what they do at the end of the day and that's none of my business. But from what I've seen from the other products making these false accusations, no, they do not do as what they claim to do. This is why they're always stuck in these dark environments. This is why they have this fake light around the screen to give off the illusion that you're picking up all this light. Keep in mind, we're on a 5,000 lumen 1080p projector and again, the screens are just not picking up. Do you know how many lumens my projector? My projector is 5,000 lumens. It's a full 1080p projector. It's a Chrissy. Can't pick up a contrast level on a gray screen for Jack. Which means anyone who has a gray screen or white screen is going to have to go out. Even with certified, it's going to have to go out and spend money for an expensive projector to pick up a higher shade of gray in order to be able to maintain something in a fully lit environment. Only black technology has that capability. Four K demonstrations, YouTube. As I said before, the gunmetal screen is far more advanced than the great mixed product or house paint, that's what it is really, and um white screen. By far, but our technology is more advanced than the gray screen, than the uh, certified screen. And it costs far less. contrast level equal to a black screen. Do you know how many demonstrations you would have seen on that by far? There have been constant demonstrations in fully lit environments displaying that. That's why you don't see them because it can't be done. There have been mountains of demonstrations done. Every time you turn around, look, gray screen matches black screen. Gray screen, you don't see that. Screen 
that can back his technology, saying better than a gray screen, certifies can do it. It's a certified signal right there, gun metal. If a customer doesn't want to spend three thousand dollars for a screen, well then you have our technology. So what I was trying to explain to the mixes out here, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. This and this we don't care about. Because we can dominate this with no problem. That would be our main pinpoint to go after. Because that's a technology at the end of the day that basically would be the only thing that we get no way at the end of the day. We can dominate the screen. That's not a problem. It's just the one that's more important to us. We don't consider this to be of importance. You're worrying about us. You can't even be that at the end of the day. I'm not talking about doing a demonstration. I'm not talking about doing a demonstration. You can't use ultra short throws on those screens. The reason why you don't see them doing a lot of certified demonstrations, you know why? Because a lot of those gunmetal screens are long throw technology, and you can't use ultra short throws with them, which means that crutch projector they're used to using all the time, they can't use that in a demonstration. Oh, no, no, no. They can only use with the ultra short throws. That's all they can use. They can't use those screens right there. They won't work. They're only on the long throw. You can't use them ultra short throws. And again, if you're going to do a demonstration on the contrast level on a gray screen paint product and make those accusations, these are the kind of demonstrations that your customers need to be seeing. Being trapped in a dark environment with a two million to one con, look at the contrast. That is just phony as phony can be. You can't get any more faker than that. That's fake. Do that demonstration in a four minute environment. And I get this all the time, but you're using five, you do know that my screen is not the only one being hit with 5,000 movements, right? Just not our screen. All the rest of them are being hit with five. Even that great product is being hit with 5,000 lumens. As I told you before, they can't capture light. You hit it with 5,000 lumens, you're washing the screen out even faster. That gunmetal technology is designed to absorb light. Our technology is designed to absorb. You're not absorbing nothing here and here. It's a bump up from a white screen. develop silver technology literally so bright that that gray product will turn it dark it'll generate that much white light and we've done it we've got test demonstrations there we have test demonstrations on the silver technology at the time we're working on that can generate a higher white level than a white surface you want to see that technology at the end of the day well, we have it just like if i sit here and tell you that hey i got a black screen that can basically generate an image so high that basically it turns certifies into white sheets of paper. And for anyone that says, oh, that's not possible, well, we got it there on the website, check it out. But if any one of these screen paints over here were to say, or this one right here were to say, well, we can produce a contrast, so we could, well, where's the demonstration that? Can't just say, you gotta back it up. The quantum stacking system, you gotta back that up. Can't just, on camera, come on now, you know better than that. Any form site you're going to is going to ask you to back that up. It does what? Oh, heck no. I got to see this. going to back that up. I mean, show me a demonstration. What are you going to do? If you're afraid of my questions at the end of the day, we you walk into a form site with that nonsense and see what happens. They're all going to come down on you, asking you to back it up. That's why we go into form sites. I love form sites. This is how I sharpen my own. Um, my our technology we walk in there and the person is oh it's just black painted in the day it says black fabric i can do the same thing then we show them the demonstrations well that went out of the way fully lit environments not that out too outside not that it's an ultra short got that too not inside outside which one you want i can even display off the ceiling if i want the ceiling light is the one thing a projection screen fears and we can project images off of that ceiling area at 180 inches The very thing that they fear is the ceiling light. And we can put a screen up there and watch a movie off of it. Even watch the football game if you choose. And everything.
think I'm saying. I can back it up. This. this is interesting. Starfield screensaver. YouTube Starfield screensaver. Let's remove them off the technology. See what happens. We'll put them over on the white wall over there. All right. Let's see if there is any improvement. I'm going to put your equipment over here. White wall. Well, the white paper. Let's see if this improves with the white paper. You've got the plate over here. And you've got the surface right here. I think it would be better if I drop the projector below, but I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to take my security unit here. It's just down here, so this is not in the way of anything. Get a shot of that wall with my security unit over there. All right, now there we are. White wall, right? Let's take our projector and move it over. We're going to make sure we hit that. We got the lens shift, but still, my lens shift doesn't go all the way over. So I gotta adjust it just a little bit here, and then I gotta adjust it with the lens shift over there. There we go. So I'm going to come a little bit farther over. Let me move my speaker table so we can shift over to that area. Now, you had, I hate to say the word in my video, the Frankenstein sitting next to a window. But it wasn't sitting next to a window because it was sitting on a table and you had an awning over top that was blocking any of the light that was making contact on the screen. Also, what I noticed in the demonstration that the surface was sitting inside of a box with another piece of cardboard on the top to block any light that would come down on the screen. You try to make it seem like you were boxing the light in so it was just hit inside, but you should have never had that top area. You didn't need that there. You need that light to make contact. Now, if you notice in this demonstration, we don't have any awnings up there. No curtains. It's just screen where the windows are at. Come over a little bit more. There we are. Now, if you notice that the Dark Star 9 is the darker screen. That's the $3,000 certified. Let's pull up a Starfield demonstration. If you notice, the Dark Star 9 is producing a much better contrast level, right? Right, look at that. You see that? That's why that screen costs three grand. Because that screen can literally sit in a window and produce its contrast level. Now, you're seeing it producing you think a black level, but it's not seeing black, it's seeing a darker shade of gray. If I were to take that same screen and stick it against our technology, it would come up gray because our screen picks up the dominant contrast. Now for any great product out there, any great mix at the end of the day, if you are out there making statements that you are pulling a contrast level equal to a 100% black screen, how is that possible when you can't even pick up next to gunmetal technology? You have to stop doing fake demonstrations. Gentlemen, it doesn't work out well. Other people are telling the truth at the end of the day. I read through their products. They tell the truth against fair contrast. They're telling the truth. You people are selling things that don't exist. And if you sit there and you want to argue, and I'm not going to go into argument, I don't have time for it, but if you want to sit there and say, oh, but that network rate doesn't, doesn't represent what? Don't ever say that on camera. Don't ever say that on camera, that network rate doesn't represent a Cinemax, because it does. 
Cinemax is what you made the claim on. You made a claim that a Cinemax can pour a contrast level equal to a black screen. You even have it posted onto your site showing this darker image of this product. When all the while, that is a lie. You can't even pass gunmetal technology. How are you going to go near black technology to begin with? Did you ever see these demonstrations being done on their channels? No. You know why? Because all they do is lie. You know why there's no batch numbers, no test demonstrations? How are you going to test a product that you can sell it already? You can't do that. It has to be tested first, then you can sell it. So you can't do test demonstrations. How are you going to do a demonstration saying, hey, you got to do a batch number, you got to prove that your product is not house paint? Well, if you haven't done the test demonstrations to begin with, to prove that it's not house paint, how are you going to do a batch number? Can you imagine if you did a batch number and it came out like the Network Grade 773 video and it matched an our batch number? Do you know how horrible that would be for the customer? Like, what the freak did I just see on camera? That's why there never will be a batch number. They, don't, they can't produce them. We're in test demonstration, and I've said before many times, gentlemen, where are your tests? So if you're going around telling people, and you're lying, and that means not just him, anybody, if you're going around lying and telling people that your product's a gray mix, that color, it's pulling up a contrast level equal to a black screen, and you are definitely lying. You can't even pass gunmetal technology. All right, so... As you can see, they can't see it. The white screen's picking up nothing, as you can see. You can see a little, well, I'm gonna go close on this one, people, because you gotta see this one. Gray screen, white screen, gunmetal technology. I told you that the gray screen is a, um, what to call it. It's a um, upgrade version of a white screen. So anytime we see these screens like this, they're just upgrade version of white screens. That's all they are. That is what you call technology. And there's our black. Now, if we were to take that surface and stick it into our technology, our technology pulls a higher contrast level. But if you were to take the same technology from here and you were to stick this next to the house paint, or they call the Network Gray 773, it maintains a higher contrast level. Why do you think gunmetal screens are not threatened by great products? There's great products at the end of the day. Why are not, they're not threatened by them? So, a little wake up call. So you can understand this. If you have a 4K projector or a 1080p projector, even 720p, we mostly have 4K projector, they were not designed to be used on those color screens here and here. They were developed for darker technology screens. That's what they were designed for. Because this way you can maintain better contrast and color and that screen both of us can maintain white levels with no problem. Where the light screens and white screens can't see contrast and color to begin with. So if you have a 4K projector and I see you on a gray screen of this caliber, we automatically know from the door what you have at the end of the day. Sorry to laugh about that, but it is quite funny. I see those in form sites all the time on these gray and white screens. I'm like, look at the contrast, look at the color. You're not picking up Jack, then they can't pick the contrast level. Yeah, you were definitely misinformed on so many levels. It's not even funny how far you were misinformed. And if you don't believe me, hey, walk into any form site, give them the same thing I just said. Say, hey, I wonder, uh, I got a 4K projector. What's the best color screen to put this on? Uh, would I choose a gunmetal screen or go with one of these gray screens? And they're going to tell you gunmetal technology. That's what they're going to tell you. 
Why? Better contrast levels. Better color pop. That's what you're going to tell you. And this technology we have over here, it's more advanced than gunmetal technology. Wow. That's why I said that, you know, for the naysayers who are coming here and tell you all this stuff, they don't even know what they're talking about. And for the fellow who makes uh, this product right here, yeah, well, he doesn't make this one, this is Network Race 773, but you're not getting that. Now, if your sister and says, oh, he's wrong, but which one? Did the product match house paint? Or we know we're not wrong on that one. Or the fact that that screen paint that you make, you claim, can do the same thing as a black screen or a black or dark gunmetal technology, you would be able to take your screen slider right over the window and produce that right there. See that color? That's what you'd be able to produce. Or this over here. Because no one else is making these accusations. No one's sitting there saying, oh, my great product's for No. People got common sense at the end of the day. They don't see dumb things. And if you like me coming on saying, hey, look, we got a, our technology pulls the same white level as a white screen. We don't make dumb accusations like that. We said one day we may have that technology. One day. But well, we don't have that technology now. So why make those accusations? So you're portraying this, and the reason why you're portraying this because your website shows that you're portraying this by those images of a really dark skin tone. You're trying to portray that this is how your screen is going to come out looking, when that's a lie. The screens are not going to come out looking like that. The only reason why yours look like that because you have a projector that does that, not the paint. That means you have lied to your customers. And then, I can't express this enough, and I will say this, your product match the house paint. We all know this, everybody knows this. Why do you continue to have that product on your website and sell it as if it didn't happen? That's another thing you're doing to cut in the way customers have to watch out for. So the reason why they hate these demonstrations, the reason why they try to come and debunk these demonstrations is because they tell the truth. If I'm lying about this and all this is fake, you wouldn't have any problem repeating this demonstration today along with the slip silver we've asked for, the network gray we asked for, basic test demonstrations we asked for. <sighs> so now, people, at the end of the day, the uh, gray screens, well, that particular gray screen has lied to you and told you that it can pull those heavy contrast levels. That's a lie. They can't even beat gunmetal technology. So, no, they can't. They don't have the capability. And you've been lied to. Just look out the window and check out how beautiful it is outside today. Nice, beautiful day today. Is it not? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, there goes something. It's pretty cool. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Tell people stop lying. It's when we see these demonstrations with these with the great products and fake demonstrations, we're misleading people in the wrong direction. And I meet plenty of customers that are buying screens for the first time, and it's a shame they have to bump into these individuals as the equivalents of the knockoff projectors. And if you're misleading people, you're lying to them. Your products can't see contrast, they can't see color. And the white levels, if you're claiming that's all about the white levels, it doesn't work. Four K demonstrations. I think we should automatically have our software update. I'm gonna check out something real quick. Because I'm going to use the mapping today. 
YouTube 4K demonstration. mapping equipment went down for a minute because again not updating my freaking software which I should have been doing from the door I should have been updating my software and I wasn't updating it at all I don't know why I don't know why I wasn't updating it because as I said before I did an update one time and something went wrong cameras weren't working right and I did, never did an update again which is a bad idea you got to keep updating the firmware so now my baby's working again Now I can basically start doing my projection. I thought my unit was more now. You know how expensive this stuff is at the end of the day? This one I paid a thousand dollars for. Some are way higher than this. And this is the best one I've ever had. Oh yes, thank you. Now, yes, and the camera activated. Woohoo! That is amazing. Look at this, look at the camera activated. And it's cleaner. It's much cleaner. I didn't start doing more updates. There's no skip in between. Woohoo! There's no skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but you understand. When you do a projector mapping, sometimes the camera skips a little bit, you know what I mean? It mess up basically your proper scam. Scanning, so scamming. Scam! Scanning! Forget it. You get the idea. But anyway, yeah, it messes it up, so it makes it skip a little bit. Dragon or nothing. Woo! Hold on, camera. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Scan, scanning, scanning. Oh, wait a minute, something doesn't smell right. Is that my opinion? Oh, good. I'm about to say, let me get some air on my machines. Supporting the technology. Oh, what new updates I got? Oh, I'm gonna try to do. I downloaded some videos. I want to see if I can actually uplink a video and basically scan into the screen. If I can do that, I want to do curved screens. That'll give me a chance to practice on curved screens. Let's see what we got. Cameras registering. Let me get this chair out of the way. software needs to be updated. So let me see. Why is it that doesn't make a difference because we're only gonna hit one mark. We gotta put the disclaimers in. This is not developed for projection screen applications. It's strictly designed for projector mapping application. Oh man, I was terrified. I was like, shoot. Do you have any idea how much money it would cost me to get this equipment back? If I got the ability to be mapping equipment is so freaking expensive. It's not even funny how expensive it is. And you won't be strapping that to any projector you want at the end of the day. You have to have a certain caliber projector to run it. Oh, man. That's when people ask me, how much you pay for yours? Look at, the, look at the scan that came up. Boom! The third screen basically is designed to generate light. This first one of the first tests we had to do, if it can pick up. Look at that. Picked up. Oh, much better. Much better. Yeah, I should have with this one a lot better. All right, let's paint this bad boy. So we don't choose a paintbrush. We should use a magic paintbrush. Magic paintbrush is much better. Yeah, right here. Um, let me see. No, no, no. I'll use the magic brush. The magic brush is easy. One hit. It should be one hit. Yes! Yes! You have no idea, people. When you have to basically paint that sucker in, you got to go around the edges perfectly. Anything spills out, that's what's going to happen. Your image is going to spill out. That one-click magic brush, that's it. We just infrared painted it. We are done! Now we gotta do now is go in and hook it up. Bam, boom, boom, bam. And wait for this to be so awesome. Well, we should just draw on the screen. We can come back and draw on the screen later on. All right. We got sidetracked. We're supposed to be doing this demonstration, but we got sidetracked. We're just doing that video for the time being for this one to load up. Now I can do the actual videos for because I need to do two more of these, but we gotta do a draw on the screen application. 
That is fun. That's where you can come kind of draw on the screen and stuff like that. Write in your company saying, put it in cursor. And you can each individual layer scan each one. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to create a surface. We do create a surface already. Create a surface. Boom. There's the infrareds popping up all around there. And go freaking check closer to my ass infrareds right there. And then, then we can choose from our collection. All right, let me see. Let me see. We're done here. We're done. Now let's go to our collection. And we can choose what we want from the collection. Or we can choose what we want from our own collection right from here. See where it says videos right there? Videos. That means there's an application where I can attach an entire video to our screen. It should be amazing. What do we want to choose? There's so much to choose from Mara. I love this kind of work right here. Let's see. Let's do something we haven't done yet. Hmm. We can do this one right here. Where's this one going to look like on the screen? Oh, that's going to be pretty cool. We'll take that one. Come out of here, and now we have to do is press publish. And let's see. Now we're rendering the project. Then we're gonna be uploading in a few minutes and then what's on there will show up right there. It's kind of weird with the wall being all white. All right. Five, Where's my little, my little racers at? My little tiny uh, cars. Oh, give me this one. This is pretty cool. I'll take this one. I'll put the universe in. Bring the universe into the octagon. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, let me see. I'm gonna do a um, come out of this file for a minute. For this project, um, yeah, save it, save my project right there. Thank you, right there. All right, now I'm going to go into on a skip right in here. I'm gonna start a whole new project. I gotta bring you guys over here because I'm so interested in it. To, to the life of me, I don't know why they freaking flash all your information. Like, that'd be jacked up if you're freaking in the middle of a freaking conference and you're like, look, check this out, and everything just pops up. How do you hide that crap on a giant screen? 
we're going to be displaying it on. So I don't know why. All right, this one, I got to get this out of the way because we're actually in the shot. Let's see. There we go. That's better. Before we show up. We need to do 3D exposure? What? Going back into our scan again. This time we're going right on the screen. We're not going to use the magic, the magic uh, wand. We're going to write on the screen this time. Let's draw some stuff right on the screen. This Columbus Day? Ooh. Yeah. Don't even get me started. Touch, keep it, get me started. You want to hear an interesting little theory? All right. So in Philadelphia, at Penn's Landing, there is a monument for um, for Christopher Columbus. Now the artist who made the monument basically had it. I remember when it first started it had it covered up, like he wouldn't show anybody because that was all secret. All secret. No one knew. No one knew what he was doing underneath that. But they paid him a lot of money. Now they tried to sue him, but it didn't work. It didn't go through. Was able to keep the money and all that, but it was funny. So this monument is forever an eyesore. <laughs> it's actually two eyesores in Philadelphia. I explained to you the other one. It's, it's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in Philadelphia. It's pretty funny. But this monument is actually an eyesore to Penn's Landing because it looks like something, something that a male has between his legs. That's what the monument looks like. I'll show you a picture of it. Everybody looks at it sees the same thing. It's hilarious, but apparently that's what he was calling him at the end of the day. No matter how you try to dress it up, it is what it is. And it's still there to this day. And the other one was, there was this weird shape kind of building that had slants and all this stuff and it was weird looking. And they wanted to make it a part of the Philadelphia skyline. But they didn't want the building there because they said the building looked just too, too weird. It would take away from the skyline. So they put it all the way in the back where the train station is at before you hit the city. But that particular area is where you had the Pico and you had the Comcast Towers over in that section. And they put on this crazy, insane light display on the buildings. It's insane, especially the Pico building. It's got amazing light displays, right? So this building has that technology to be light up like that. So it's crazy because that district over there actually became more popular than the actual city skyline because the buildings over there do this kind of back and forth kind of light display and it is insane. Yeah, that's what you get to basically just based on the ugly ducking. <laughs> oh, Philadelphia is so funny, I swear. I gotta show you this right here. Yeah, and it, it's going to take people down like, stand back. you got to go across the street to see it because you can't be standing up in front of me. You can't see it. When you stand back, you go, oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's hilarious. Now, those of you that are supporter of Christopher Columbus, I mean, that's your thing at the end of the day, you know what I mean? But I don't support him, and the reason why I don't support him because I don't feel like he discovered America. I'm sorry, but that's what I feel. At the end of the day, you can't discover something that somebody's already living on it. It's like me walking into your house, kicking in your front door, removing you out of your house, sticking a flag in the middle of your freaking living room saying, get the freak out, I own this now. You can't do that. That's my point of view. Everybody has the right to their own point of views. Christopher Columbus Monument in Philadelphia, Penn's Landing. Let me get a picture of this bad boy. Mm -hmm. 
that's what it looks like. If you look at the bottom to the top, that's what they shaped it to look like. And that has been an argument for the longest time what to do with that freaking monument. See right here, it says right here? Yeah. It's interesting. Philadelphia has an interesting history. <laughs> oh my goodness, people are doing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you arguing about, Taco? All right, let me get out of here because I got things to do. I just want. Why am I on this account? The freeze one on here. No, 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 no. Put down that account. This is where we're supposed to be at. No, I can't wait. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to be at. Let me see my YouTube back. All right, perfect. All right, let me get this demonstration done. I want to take a We don't attach my phone. All right, we got that working. I think we're going to do a draw on screen application for the website because we don't have one of those done. That's cool. Create a service for that. We're done. Uh, let me see. We need an image. We're going to pull from our files. Something in the files or something. We have the file over there. It doesn't make a difference. Just choose something. Okay. What about this uh, craziness right here? Oh, man. Talk about having a freaking package at the end of the day. But this will work. This will definitely work because it's psychedelic. All right, so we just drew on the screen and we're just gonna do this demonstration real quick. I gotta do a couple of demonstrations for um, for this right here. So I gotta get back to work. Cause right now I'm just having some fun. Mm. And there's a display right there.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I have got to get back to work. I'm really serious, I gotta get back to work. I've been playing around the last two video demonstrations and I haven't really done anything that I could worthy post to the site. So I gotta get back to work. Hope you enjoyed, gotta go, and thank you all and God bless.